now. They're the growing community of citizen scientists, volunteers who help with research projects, sometimes from the comfort of their armchair. Those leading the research say volunteers are no longer a fun addition to the team. They're absolutely vital. Mm. Nina Warhurst is in Shropshire with a very special tree as well. Good morning, Nina. Good morning, Louise. It is. It's a very uh, special tree. Rob over there has been teaching me all about old trees. Now, did you know one way of telling that a tree's got older is it gets shorter, wider and more knobbly, a bit like humans. That's his description, not mine. Uh, Rob is someone who, as a volunteer, goes around looking at trees and whether they're in danger of things like fungal ash dieback. And that makes him a citizen scientist, somebody who gives up their own time for free in the name of scientific research. Now, at any one time, there are dozens of these projects going on all around the world and I've been to Oxford University where they're looking at penguin colonies they say they need citizen scientists to get involved so we can learn more than we've ever known before about the way penguins live and why they might be endangered is that a penguin or not I can't that's interesting well from two novice citizen scientists to a seasoned one here Rob you spend so much of your free time looking at ancient trees like this helping the Woodland Trust who say they've, they rely heavily on volunteers like you why do you do it? I think Nina when you take a look at this fantastic ancient ash tree here uh, and realise that the Woodland Trust have got 110,000 trees recorded on the ancient tree hunt um, you can see just how important they are and the fact that there's so many threats to trees tree, di tree diseases are just sort of going through the roof the number that are coming into the UK uh, and so it's important if we can get people one person, one tree, go out today go and have a look at your local ash trees in the park or wherever, just have a look Look at the Woodland Trust website, look for the symptoms, the leaves. Uh, of course, it's awkward in the, autumn, in the autumn because they will sort of die back, but have a look at the specific uh, indicators that you can look for on the Woodland Trust website okay. and go out and meet your trees. And what's that feeling like, Rob, thinking I'm part of this big jigsaw puzzle that's working out what's happening to trees across Great Britain? Well, it's, it's really good because obviously there's so many scientists in the UK, but not enough to be everywhere. So the whole fact about citizen science is that we, the people, are out there and we're looking in our local landscapes all over. You are indeed. And Catherine, you're from the British Science Association. How much has the work, like what Rob does, gone beyond a bit of fun in the garden to something that science really now needs? Uh, well, the work of Rob and other volunteers is crucial, really. We're seeing a wave of citizen science projects at the British Science Association. And I think what they can offer is the opportunity to get the public involved with generating real, authentic, genuine data sets so the public can get hands-on with science in a way that they haven't always been able to do before, which is really exciting, I think. So, finally, if people say this is just silly science, it's playground science, it doesn't really matter, what would you say to them? That's, that's totally not true. Uh, the public are able to generate um, real data and actually they can often present an insight that real scientists, that professional scientists wouldn't be able to generate because they come at it from a different perspective. And of course, as Rob was saying, citizen scientists live all across the UK in every kind of environment. So that kind of rich data um, is really helpful for generating fresh insights. Catherine, many thanks. So there you go. Our fresh eyes as, member of the pub as members of the public I mean that sometimes we see things that trained scientists don't, so there's absolutely no excuse. You saw how easy it was with Sasha and Matthew to become a citizen scientist yourself. Back to you. And I love Rob's line. I know it's his birthday. Go and meet your trees. I shall consider that later. <laughs> it is his birthday. Is he disappeared into the trees now? He's got to meet some more. He's over here. Oh, uh, happy birthday, Rob. Do you want Rob. to wish him a happy birthday? They're wishing you a very happy birthday, Rob. Oh, thank you very much, and I'm going to have a tremendous birthday. <gasps> OK, oh. and tell them what you said earlier about what your wish for your birthday is, what a what, lovely what? present would be. A new ancient tree, yeah. For everyone to sign up to the Woodland Trust. Oh, sorry. Oh, Everybody <laughs> sign up to the Woodland Trust and get okay. up there looking I think for we're, I think, I know it's your trees. birthday. I know it's your birthday, Rob, but we are going to have to leave it. Thank you very much. <laughs> You shut him up on his birthday. <laughs> he couldn't hear, could he? 8.58 is the time now. If your home is in need of a lick of pain,